24b, we're asked to prove that OND is a straight line. Now, back in the old days, they would ask you what the relationship was, and it was always a straight line. But now they're a bit smarter, and they're asking you to prove why it is a straight line. So let's have a look at the picture. We're trying to prove that OND, this point right over here, is a straight line. Well, they're telling us it is, so we have to just show them why we know it is. And to do that, we've got to think about vectors, and we've got to think about different magnitudes or sizes of vectors. So if we find the vector from here to here, which we've just done in part A, and we also find the vector from O to D, you should be able to see that it's either going to be double that one, or maybe triple, or maybe four times that one. And if we prove that it's a the same vector but a different size, it means it's in exactly the same direction and therefore a straight line. So, I'm going to write down here very quickly what O to N is again. So O to N, for my last answer, is a third of A plus two thirds of B. And what we're going to have to do is work out O to D. Now, to get from O to D, I'm going to go from O to A and then A to D. I'm going to write that down here. So it's O to A plus A to D. Let's go back up to the picture. So O to A was A, and like I explained in the previous video, that's B because these are parallelograms and we're told that this is the same. So that is two Bs. So it's one A plus two Bs. Now, this isn't the easiest one, but we've got to try and see a connection between here and here. So, looking at this one, you should be able to see, well, there's a third of A. How do I, what do I need to multiply this by to make a whole A? So it's three. But let's check this here. So we've got two thirds, and if we multiply that by three, do we get a whole two? And I'll prove it to you. So, two-thirds times three. Now, if you're not too sure with your fractions, you probably should be if you're watching this video, but you can either just remember it's three whole ones times two-thirds, so you can just times the tops, or if you like to think of it like this, it's probably easier. If you turn the three into a fraction by putting over one, times in fractions is times in the tops, and then times in the bottoms. So six divided by three, which is two, which means O to D, this vector here is three times bigger than O to N. It means it's exactly the same vector, but just three of them. Therefore, it's in a straight line. And that's what they want to see.